Hey guys, I have a super quick and simple index card today. This is day 17. I'm starting out on a gessoed index card and I'm gonna stamp some mesh, mesh texture stamp by Viva Las Vegas Stamps with a light gray ink just to get a little, um, get that whiteness out, get a little something going on the background before I go in with my gelatos. Um, so I have watermelon, margarita mix, and snow cone. And for iCAD, I like to kind of like break out some supplies that I don't use that much or um, do different techniques or stuff like that. So I thought I'd bust out the gelatos because I don't really use them that often and um, I ha certainly haven't used them in a long time either. So I'm just going to really lay down a lot of color just at the top portion of my card. I'm going to spray a little bit with water, um, kind of activate or... or um, work that water in with my finger and then I'm going to spray water to get it dripping. Then I'm going to dry that first layer and do that same process over again. I'm just trying to build up the intensity of color because I really want it to be bright and vibrant. So I'm also going to add a little bit of the gelato while it's still wet to try to get more of that color. I'm going to dry that second layer and then go in with a third yet layer because I just was not getting the intensity that I wanted. I added a little bit of red cherry which is a much darker color than the watermelon thinking that would help and it did. It made it um, quite a bit brighter or more intense and I'm um, just going to spray that and dry that layer again. And then for my final layer, I still was not happy with um, the brightness or the intensity. So I scribbled some of the gelatos out on my nonstick craft sheet and added some water and kind of mixed them up right there on the craft sheet so I could add them with a paintbrush. And that did seem to help um, a little bit. And then I'm gonna do some stamping for my focal kind of stamping. <laughs> the card is quite a bit warped because I added a lot of water and it is just an index card. It's not watercolor paper or anything. I'm going to stamp this wildflower stamp by Viva Las Vegas Stamps with some gray. I think this is called Shadow Gray Ink. It's by um, Ranger. It's archival ink. And I'm using my stamp platform because I want to stamp it a few times to get a more intense gray stamping. And then for my focal guy, I have this Albert Einstein stamp and he's holding a blank sign so you could add anything you want in the sign. And I just love stamps like that. So I'm using some black stays on. I'm just going to stamp it over and over and over and over until I get a really black intense stamping because I really want him to stand out. And then um once I'm happy, um, I was looking through my stash for little stamps that could fit in this and all I could come <laughs> up with, so ridiculous, is a unicorn and I think this other one might be like a hammerhead shark. Um, I mean, it's just so ridiculous. Why would Albert Einstein be holding a sign with a unicorn and a shark? <laughs> it delighted me. So that's all that mattered. <laughs> So he's levitating a little bit, so I'm going to add um, like a paint swoop kind of uh, stamp. All these stamps are by Viva Las Vegas Stamps. And um, I'm 17 cards behind, so I'm really trying to do some quick cards here. So I just stamped a little bit more of the mesh texture. I'm going to add some um, white splatters and call it a day for this card. Um, I could have added a quo, I could have added other stuff. But I was just trying to finish it off quickly and, you know, it's all right. Is it my favorite? No, but, you know, it's whatever. I was glad to use a supply that I haven't used in a while. Um, it kind of makes it seem not so um, indulgent to use some of the supplies. I don't know if you're like me, but I've got a whole room stuffed with supplies that I rarely use. You know, you get your favorites and you sometimes forget about the other stuff so that's one of the reasons why I love iCAD bust out some of those randomly used or not not so often used supplies so um, leave me a comment down below let me know um, what your favorite supply is that you don't use that often or what your what your su what uh, supply you have that you wish or want to use more often and yeah, I'm interested to see what, what you guys have that you don't use that often. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.